for red, white, and blue, I am celebrating with glitter. What better way to celebrate the special holiday with red, white, and blue glitter? I am creating luminaries with tin cans and the tulip glitter in red, white, and blue. I've embellished these with cool to cast pieces, and I want to show you how easy it is for you to create your own luminaries. The first thing you want to do is take the label off your tin can and use the type of can opener that separates the top from the bottom. It doesn't cut it, but it actually uncrimps it so that you have a nice edge that is not sharp at all. The next step is to go ahead and apply glue. I'm using my Aline's Turbo Tacky Glue and I like this because it's very easy to just apply it with my fingers. It's easy to smooth out, it dries faster, it grabs fast, and just use your fingers and cover that entire tin can. And I have found that afterwards if I have gone over the edge where I don't want the glue. It's really easy to clean up the extra glue and glitter after you're all finished with this project. So quickly apply your Aline's Turbo Tacky to the entire can. The next step is to be sure you put a piece of paper or wax paper down on your work surface so you can collect the glitter as it shakes off your can and cover the entire tin can with the color of your choice. I love the blue. So cover that entire tin can with your glitter and then shake off the excess. Once your glue and glitter has dried completely on your can, then you can punch out the holes, which gives it the effect of the luminary. I just line this up. Now you can use a tape measure to actually get in there and space these. On my can, I did them about an inch apart, and it's very easy to go in there and just punch those holes. I did the second row by just coming all the way in and punch. So do that all the way around your can. And then when you put a votive candle inside or one of those LED light candles, you'll be able to see the light through the holes. That's what makes this the luminary. The step to create the stars, as I mentioned earlier, is to pour them with cool to cast and then apply your glitter. And you want to use a real heavy duty magnet and you can take these off and move your designs around. Another fun step is I put my glitter right on to my Aline's Tacky Tape and I could create stripes that way. <laughs> Isn't that fun? So you can do your stars and your stripes. What I love about this is because you can move everything around, they are completely interchangeable. So when our red, white, and blue holiday is over, I can actually change my luminaries out for the season. And just by putting magnets on the back of other pieces, I have a special occasion luminary for all year. Isn't that fun? I'm Tiffany Windsor, and I think it's cool to craft.